Hello Anthem Kids! How's it going? I hope your second week of fasting is going amazing. Today, we're going to be looking at another person who fasted in the Bible. His name is Moses. It's in Exodus chapter 34, and I'm going to read it to you. Actually, I'll tell you first. So Moses, God called Moses up on Mount Sinai to give Moses the Ten Commandments the law that God was giving the Israelites. And it says this about when Moses went up. It says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Write these words, for according to the tenor of these words, I have made a covenant with you in Israel. And this is what it says. So Moses was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water, and he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. So in this story, we see Moses and he goes up on top of the mountain, Mount Sinai, to receive the law, the Ten Commandments from God. And during this time that Moses is up there with God, it says he didn't eat for 40 days and 40 nights. That's a long time, isn't it? That's twice as long as we're fasting. So this is what we're going to learn from Moses today, guys. In the same way that Moses fasted and went up to be on the mountain with God, in the same way in our lives, sometimes we fast so that we can spend time alone with God. Maybe instead of, like we say, maybe you're fasting from watching television or playing video games or something like that, instead of that time you'd spend with your family or with your friends hanging out just having fun, maybe like Moses, when you're fasting, you go away with God and spend time with God alone so you can talk to God and that He can talk to you guys. So that was another person we learned about fasting, guys, is Moses. In the same way that Moses went up on the mountain to spend time with God and fasted, when we're fasting, we should spend time alone with God because God wants to spend time with us. He wants to talk to you and He wants to have a relationship with you. And when we fast, it's a great time to say, God, I want to set apart time of my day to spend time alone with you, just me and you, God. So I hope you guys are doing a great job on your fasting. I hope it's not you know, I hope you're learning a lot, uh, even though it's hard. And uh, yes, continue to send in your photos of you fasting, wh whatever it's from. Make sure your parents take a picture of you and send it to Rhett at AnthemChapel.com or Aaron at AnthemChapel.com. And we'll make sure your picture gets up on the um, pledge board on Sunday morning. So have a great week, everyone, and we will see you on Sunday.